The 45th annual Poly Arts Festival took place at the Hopkinton Town Common. A great turnout was on hand to take a look at the dozens of vendors, enjoy the musicians, and some delicious treats. I'm Irene Hastings, and this is the artwork of my husband and I. Uh, we do digital illustration, which we hand draw and then bring into the computer to create prints. There is an online store, uh, it's www.hastings-studio.com and you can buy things there um, in multiple sizes, so uh, usually small through large. And I see a lot of animal pictures here, are animals the, your favorite type of artwork to do? Yeah, so it's a lot of, it's a lot of nature based stuff, so animals definitely capture my attention. <laughs> We have very beautiful hand-blown glass bowls. They have between three and five different layers of glass. They're blown in Essex Mass, and a key part of our business is we give 10% of every sale to a charity that serves kindness. So today we brought four different charities with us. Buddy Dog Humane Society in uh, Sudbury. We have Lucy's Love Bus that does things for kids with life-threatening illness. We have the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation and the Food Project. So come on by. Uh, find your favorite color bowl, because we have lots of great colors, and pick your favorite charity and 10% will be donated to them. So you can find us on uh, www.servekindness.com. We have a website where we have the bowls, the information about the charities that we work with, and we ship anywhere in the continental United States. Yeah. Terrific. And we love being out here at Hockington. Excellent. The weather is great with us. Yes. It's been a good day. Hopefully the rain holds off. Yeah, it will. Exactly. It will. Um, Poly Arts has been my favorite day in Hopkinton since we've been here, and I think I've only missed two Poly Arts in over 19 years. And um, I ha also have a love of art, so I love coming here and decided to volunteer. So I've been volunteering on Poly Arts for, uh, I don't know, maybe 10 years. And um, we have Poly Arts, first of all, is a nonprofit, and we um, award at least two $1,000 scholarships to Hopkinton High School graduates who are going on to either major or minor in the arts. And they use the word arts loosely. It could also mean dance, um, theater, photography, creative writing. Um, so that's our main focus, and we raise funds by hosting our poly arts events here on the Common. Each vendor um, submits a fee with their application, and that's where our funds come from. And this year we have over 70 artisan vendors um, who are on the Brick X on the Common, but then we also encourage community involvement with our nonprofit uh, groups. So here, this area here is. Um, showcases a lot of our nonprofits who have activities for children. So uh, you can see here we've got Pumpkin Tic-Tac-Toe, we've got Hiller's Boosters uh, selling gear here, we even have the uh, Hopkins High class of 2023 here, we've got Paint and Party doing crafts, henna tattoos, um, alpacas, the girls' volleyball team is over here. They do face painting, nails, and other tattoos. Um, so it's just, and we've got the library's Apple Crisp is always a huge hit. Historical societies here, Boy Scouts uh, supplies food for sale. Um, and we've got some church groups, educational groups here in town, and live music. So it's a day that's just such a wonderful day to, for our community to come together and share the love of the arts and spend time with each other. I always see my friends here. Thank Wonderful. you. And how's the turnout been so far? Great. It's always hard for me to say how many visitors we have because um, some people like me can wander around all day long so uh, I can't count myself twice but then we have people that just come and go but um, we, we it's it's just we have great great participation. Thank you. I need someone to love me the